Illinois prairies. What is the prairie? A prairie is a type of grassland. It comes from the French word for meadow. Prairies are a mixture of grasses and forbs. Forbs are plants with broad leaves, like wildflowers. Grasses have narrow leaves. Grasses are the dominant plants in the prairie. How did the Illinois prairies form? Most of the land in the northern two-thirds of Illinois is flat. The land was shaped by glaciers that moved through. These giant walls of ice formed and spread at a time when the climate in North America was much colder than it is now. The weight and grinding action of the glaciers pushed the soil and flattened it. Four major glaciers covered parts of Illinois during this period that ended about 12,000 years ago. Prairies usually form on flat land with a climate that is hot and dry in the summer and cold in winter. When these conditions developed about 8,300 years ago, the tall grass prairie became a major part of Illinois. What types of prairies grow in Illinois? Prairies are classified as wet, mesic, or dry. Wet prairies have much water present in the soil. Plants like cordgrass, common mountain mint, and New England aster grow here. Mesic prairies have a medium amount of water during the year. Big blue stem, black-eyed Susan, compass plant, rattlesnake master, and yellow coneflower live in mesic prairies. Dry prairies are inhabited by such plants as little blue stem, lead plant, purple prairie clover, and rough blazing star. Where are the prairies in Illinois? In 1820, Illinois had 22 million acres of prairie land. Prairies were mainly in the northern two-thirds of the state, with forest in the southern one-third. By 1900, most of Illinois' prairies were gone. Most of the land was converted to farming practices. By 1978, less than 2,300 acres of high-quality prairie remained. Most of the undisturbed prairie sites in Illinois today may be found along railroads, in pioneer cemeteries, or on land unsuitable for farming. How is fire important to the prairie? Fires occur often on the prairie. Because the ground was flat and unbroken by roads or other objects, fires moved quickly and covered huge areas. Fire is good for the prairie ecosystem. Fire removes the dead stems and leaves of prairie plants above ground without killing the roots. These plants can grow again after a fire from either their roots or their seeds. Fire helps to stop the growth of shrubs and trees in the prairie by killing the living parts of these plants that are above the soil. These plants do not grow back from their roots as easily as grasses. It is believed that frequent fire was the reason that Illinois was covered with mostly prairie instead of forest when the pioneers arrived. What types of plants grow in a prairie? Prairie soil is very rich in nutrients that plants need to grow, and a good variety of plant species are adapted to live there. Here are some more examples of prairie plants in Illinois. Culver's root. Rosin weed. Closed gentian. Purple coneflower, Indian grass, wild bergama, tall bone set. What are some animals of the prairie? Prairie animals must withstand changing weather, danger from predators, dry conditions, and other hazards like fire. To meet these challenges, many prairie animals can burrow into the soil, run fast, fly, or blend into their surroundings. Prairie birds often nest on the ground since there are few trees available. Here are some of the animals that live in the prairies of Illinois. Northern Harrier, Monarch Butterfly, Sedge Wren, 13 Line Ground Squirrel, American Toad. Are there endangered and threatened prairie species? Because much of the prairie has been destroyed, many of the organisms that depend upon it for their habitat have been forced to move to new habitats or have become very scarce. Did you know that bison and elk once lived in Illinois? They were the largest mammals of the Illinois prairie. Many were killed by pioneers and used for food and hides. Others lost their habitat to farming and settlement. 
with the loss of habitat, these animals vanished from Illinois, although they still lived in other states. They were extirpated from the state. Today, the list of threatened or endangered prairie species in Illinois includes plants, butterflies, frogs, snakes, birds, and mammals. Without the large continuous grasslands, these organisms will always find survival to be difficult. Prairie restoration efforts help to keep these organisms alive. What else should I know about prairies? Illinois was the first state that settlers from the eastern part of the country traveled to that had such large areas of grasslands. These settlers are responsible for calling Illinois the prairie state. The third full week in September is celebrated as Prairie Week in Illinois. This annual event occurs thanks to a law passed by the state legislature. The purpose of the observance is to develop in people an appreciation for prairies. You can find much more information about the prairies in Illinois at this website.